Many schools and education departments are feverishly trying to put together AI policies that will encompass the myriad of issues that need to be covered when generating an effective and encompassing AI policy. There are several stakeholders that the policy will need to consider. And in this video, I will walk you through each of the issues that you need to investigate in order to make an effective AI policy for your setting. Welcome to AI for Teachers, I'm Jen Tuado. In this video, I'll be first starting with some discussion points surrounding AI policy. Then I'll be following it up with some direct points of how each element of your policy will affect each stakeholder. And then finally, I'll be directing you to a place that you can find a policy skeleton that I've developed that you are more than welcome to use if you're developing a policy of your own. For schools who have not yet generated an AI policy, obviously your code of ethics and code of conduct will cover these types of issues. However, I think we owe it to students and teachers to be giving them clear black and white instructions on how AI is to be utilized within a school setting. I was lucky enough to attend an AI conference this week and there were a panel of experts there speaking about AI, whether it's a friend or a foe. Many of them echoed that ChatGPT and language, large language models are here to stay. So we need to learn how to ethically and safely engage with these tools and teach our students how to use them safely. There are many key takeaways from the conference. Obviously, the overall message echoed was that AI has many positives. For teachers, it can really help with workload. For students, it can act as a instant tutor that never gets sick of their questions. And it can also make materials more accessible for a multitude and the diversity of students that we have. Obviously, there's no question, there's a number of uh, legalities and ethical issues that need to be ironed out and thought through, especially in an educational setting. And I feel like we really owe it to teachers and students to lay those out in black and white. Obviously, there's already been some legal battles around copyright and intellectual property. Can't claim ignorance in these areas. We really need to upskill ourselves in understanding what we can and cannot use ChatGPT for. Obviously, a few of the other issues that came up are assessment. How are we going to assess students? But maybe more importantly, how are we going to mark students? What are we going to be giving the most marks for? Maybe that needs to be something that we look at. And additionally, we need to be thinking about critical literacy. Now more than ever, it's very important that as teachers, we're critical of what is being produced by these AI tools, as well as making sure our students are being critical of what's being produced and any bias that's obviously included in these AI tools. So there's a lot of things that we need to nut through so that we're making sure that we are using AI safely and ethically and helping to guide and upskill our students to do the same. So let's walk through the issues that we need to look at and evaluate when making an AI policy. So when you are developing your whole school policy for AI, the different factors that you're going to need to research and consider are ethical use, privacy, accountability, access equality, making sure that everybody has equal access to the technology, training and curriculum integration, legal compliance, as well as collaboration with stakeholders, intellectual property, and future adaptability and evaluation. Obviously, AI is gonna to continue to evolve and we're not gonna be wanting to write our policy over and over again. So we need to make sure that when we create our policy, it's something that will encompass future changes to AI. 
Obviously, your policy will need to consider all stakeholders, including administrators and teachers, students, as well as parents and educators. As far as ethics goes, obviously admin and teacher, they will need to make sure that the AI technology aligns with the school values and mission, and that it promotes the culture of ethical AI and everyone is using it ethically. Students will need to understand the ethics surrounding AI as well, and obviously that's going to fall back onto teachers and admin to make sure that we are educating students in that area. And we also need to make sure that we're communicating with parents and caregivers. This is very new technology, and we need to make sure they understand what the school's foundation and understanding is around ethics of AI. So there's going to be a need for a lot of communication and a lot of upskilling for all of the stakeholders involved. Obviously, there's also some legalities and privacy issues. Most of that is obviously going to fold on, um, fall on to administrators and teachers to make sure that everyone is meeting copyright, everyone is legally able to use the apps or different AI technologies. So making sure they're researching the appropriate age level and getting parent consent where necessary. Accountability is also very important. And I think that comes back to teachers and admin making it very clear what is acceptable at your school so that there's no gray areas for students and also for teachers so that they know um, what they're meant to be doing, how they're meant to be using AI and how it should be used in different settings. I would suggest that with different assessment pieces, you would be giving the students a rating scale of how much AI they're allowed to use for each assessment. And then when the assessment is given, it's clearly labeled in that assessment what it's being used for. So is AI being able to be used just for a grammar check? Can you use higher level AI to help you develop a draft of your assessment? And kind of making a scale of what AI use is appropriate for each assessment task. Obviously, accessibility and equity is a really important factor. Look, we're still working at making sure that people have equal access to technology, and this is just another layer on top of that. So obviously that's going to affect admin, students, and parents and caregivers. So making sure you're outlining how you're going to effectively manage the access and equality for all students. Obviously, curriculum integration is going to come into it as well. What is your school's take on how much AI is going to be integrated into the curriculum and also into assessment pieces? And that will need to be clearly ar be articulated for teachers, students, and parents and care caregivers. Professional development is going to be an area that your policy will need to address, not just for admin and teachers, but also for students. What upskilling are you going to give to students so that they are becoming critical thinkers and critically analyzing anything that they are generating in AI? And also teachers so that they understand what AI is capable of, how it can help them with workload, but also what is acceptable to be putting into AI language models um, on a copyright and privacy level for their students. And of course, intellectual property. So understanding the intellectual property rights of AI generated content, and then um, students understanding the guidelines when they're using the content and seeking permission um, to use those materials in their work. So last but not least, I have put a skeleton policy that involves an overview of a policy. I've separated it out by stakeholders. So I've started with admin and teachers, then a section for students and a section for parents and caregivers. And I've outlined each of these steps within the policy. 
obviously your school will have to go in and nut out exactly how they want that policy to look, but there's a skeleton there. And you'll find that on our Facebook page, AI for Teachers. I think you'll agree that developing an AI policy is a multi-layered and complex undertaking, but I hope these strategies and thoughts of areas in which to investigate and include were worthwhile. I think we owe it to students and teachers to be giving them really clear and concise guidelines when it comes to this new technology that we inevitably will all be using. This has been AI for Teachers and I'm Jen Twydale. Remember to balance your work and well-being.